Welcome crafters, Andy is your and welcome to a modern house tutorial. I'm using the UTB texture pack download link in the description. This is the house that I am actually going to build. What do you think? Me and the build team on the UTB server have spent a little bit of time, a couple of days coming up with this really simple, doable house. Got a bit of a water feature involved, got some pretty cool windows and it looks pretty awesome from all angles and block by block we are going to build this you can follow along let's do this first thing you're going to want to do is to remove an area of grass 20 by 30 and then remove the dirt so that you've got that full of sand but one block down apart from obviously the bit in the middle which you can see is stone and the stone is three in from the sides five from the front and three in from the back so hopefully you can copy that Best thing to do is dig down two blocks and fill it with stone and sand in exactly the pattern I've got there. So hopefully you've managed that, okay? Pretty cool so far, easy peasy. Right, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna cut out four blocks, oops, and then stick in some stone, four blocks of stone, five from the end, and then we're gonna hit our polished andesite, or as I like to call it, andesiodesite, and then Bam, 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 nearly did it without mistakes. Spam it along there just like that. And then we're gonna go account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just start to mark in the path. Obviously, you can make the path longer and have all sorts of garden implements, but it's up to you. I'm not gonna do the garden, I'm not gonna do the interior, but it is over to you and I hope you do it. I might turn this house over to my builders and let them have a go at it. Hmm, they could do the interior in the garden for me. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we want to add on five more blocks. So there's five more blocks in total. And that's what it should look like from above so far. And next we're off to a cold country to get some snow. One, two, three. Like that, I'm gonna count out to 12. Up, 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 up. I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then just fill that in like that. Of course, that, that middle block will be removed in a minute, but I just wanna get the idea across. Right, we wanna make a big cuboid here. So it's gonna be 17 long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And that, guess what? It's probably just easier if we hack it out uh, later on and just make sure this is completely full of snow. So guess what? I'm gonna cheat. If you're doing it by hand, then you can cheat, but I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use a little bit of world edit. So I'm gonna do slash slash stack 16. And that gives you a big block to play with. So it's 12 high from the sand and it's 17 long. Hopefully we can cope with this. The next thing we're gonna do is hack out the snow we just made. Seems a bit of a waste of time, but we are gonna do it. So we're gonna hack out three parts of the snow, three deep. Mm -mm. I'm going to use a really cool block in the UTP texture pack. It's slime. It just sounds fantastic when you put it down. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> Honestly, the things that amuse me. Right, um, I'm going to hack down two bits there and put a little bit of fat. Let's go down even further with this. Go there and then a little bit of glass just to shine some light. Shine some light up this kind of feature at the front. Um, something else I might like to do is put a little bit of grass right there. And it seems a bit crazy placing a plant right now, but we want this to look good right from the beginning. But there we go. Not bad, huh? Now this block, I like this block. This is gray stained clay. It makes a little appearance. So we're gonna come down two into and place it right there. Cool hot, we're gonna link up with that block in just a minute. So what I want to do is be right below it. And we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then place our gray stained clay and get rid of our little counting blocks. Now we wanna raise this all the way up until it's level with that block we placed. I think that's about right, and then come across. Boom, 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 there we are. And then this comes up also just like that. 
not bad, not bad. Now we want to extend this back a bit. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And it should end up with kind of one space left over just there. We can zip that up like that. And guess what? This whole bit in here needs to be filled in. But you know me by now, I just cheat. So slash slash stack 13. Pretty straightforward to copy though. Hopefully you can manage that so far. Right. Next I want to come down by one, two, three, four, and then come across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be exactly right. So there we go. Looking pretty smart, I think. Okay, now we want to do a count to ten in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we are. And that is all going to be filled in as well. So um, bum, 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 bum. let me see, how can I cheat this time? I think I can cheat like this. So slash stack nine. So what you should end up with if you're doing this by hand is one, two, three, four, gap of four right there. Do you know what? It's starting to get a little bit dark at the back here. I'm going to switch off shaders to make this a bit easier to follow. That looks a bit better, right? It looks a bit better. A lot of you have been asking for these step-by-step -step tutorials, so I'm going to do as many of them as I can. Right, we're going to do a bit of a, a floor. The floor is going to come all the way across here, and it's going to stick out by two blocks. What do I mean by two? It's going to stick out by two just there. So let's do that. Do you know what? I feel like doing this bit by hand. Let's just spam these blocks down instead of doing my world edit cheaties. Do you sing to yourself? Do you play music? Some people play music and place blocks in time to the music, but I can't do that. It interrupts my thinking. So it does. Right. So the structure of this house is getting there. I told you it was simple. Okay, the next two numbers we need to remember are 13 and 16. 13 and 16. So that all lines up there. So that lines up. Didn't need to count. And this lines up here. Okay, so the first number is 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And this forms the roof. And of course, I had got all excited placing those blocks earlier on, but I can't do any more of that. So stack 10, would that do it? Nope. 12. No, 13. Okay. Next number is coincidentally 13. So we're going to line it up with this one here. So we're coming back by two blocks. So it looks like that whole floor comes all the way through. And we'll just spam this until it's one block away from the back. Like that. And it should line up with the roof as well. And what did I say the magic number was? Oh yeah, 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's the important counting. The rest is just filling in the blanks, which you can do of your own accord. And there we go. The basic structure of this house is really incredibly easy to do. And that is it right there. Hopefully you've managed this so far. Well, since it looks like it's gonna fall over, we need some more magic numbers. The magic numbers this time are two, two, three, and five. So first of all, we're counting in two, blocks like that. So there's the two and then a two. So two blocks missing and then a two and then we're going to miss two and do a three. Oh, stay with me on this one. I miss one and then do one, two, three, four, five. Blah, 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 five. So let me show you that again. <laughs> miss two, put two, miss two, put three, miss one, put five blocks of snow. And all we need to do with them is keep on going. So, boom, 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 boom. oops, not you, not you, not you, one, two, dun, 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 dun. and then, oh, this is going to go all the way through the roof. So this is the left hand wall of the house, and we're going to have windows at the gaps. So we need to be very careful where we put our next blocks. It's going to look like it's above those bits. It looks like they're coming through. So I made a mistake there. So take that away and then do, what was it? One, two, three, is that right? Yep, three, gap of one, and then one, two, three, four, five. Finishes it off just like that. Same underneath as well. Wrap this down and along. 
like that gap of one there uh one two three get in the right place you one two and that just extends all the way down i'm feeling just so cheaty that i'm going to do this slash slash stack four down isn't that annoying that i can do that but it's pretty straightforward that is the side hopefully that is doable for you if it isn't let me know in the comments but i think that is achievable by just about everyone and even if you're not building the texture pack you can choose your own blocks to do that with are you hungry for more are you keeping up if you're hungry for more we're going to take a little nibble a little nibble see what i did there see what i did one two three four five now this block is really cool this is sponge a little bit of sponge now if you haven't got sponge then Use something red, or even blue looks pretty good as well. And we just continue this shape all the way up. There we go, make sure it's in the right spot. All the way up to the roof. That's easy, right? A little bit of sponge adds that little sparkle of color. But of course, that isn't the end of the sponge. Just before you thought you could put your sponge down, uh, we need to make sure the sponge lines up. The sponge is gonna line up right here. One, two, three, four, five. So grab your sponge, get back in the bath, and get placing blocks. What on earth am I talking about? The stuff that I blabber in these videos sometimes is beyond a joke. Right, that's gonna be five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. You are an imposter. So that's gonna line up nice and neat, just like that from the front, and this goes all the way up to the roof. So have you kind of decided in your head what the rooms are for yet? I don't know if I've actually mentioned it, but what we've got in here probably is some sort of little uh, kitchen area. Oh, something we can do. See this little gap of two here? We can start to hack through here with the same gap of two, just like that. There we go. So that forms that little doorway and it all lines up. In fact, we can, while we're in the mood, while we're here, we can just hack that out also. But it's going to go, I think, all the way to the ceiling, like that. There we go. Um, this one can as well, if you wish, but then you need to do that, just to make it look cool. Yeah, that's much better. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. That is a definite keeper, for sure. Right, what is next? Well, I'll tell you what's next. It's the wooden features in this place. So we're going to grab some acacia wood planks. One, two, three. Four, and then we're going to be mighty sneaky and go for some stairs like that and then repeat uh, one two three four five come up one one two three four and then some planks along the top one two three four five and it adds that touch of luxury touch of class a massive wooden sliding door engineered to feel like it's light in your hands that's what i'm imagining things are like okay um, right over here, we need the same sort of things. Oh, by the way, underneath we're gonna put one, two, three, four little bits of cobble wall. I think that looks really cool. And then same here, one, two, three. You might even go in there as well if you wish. And then we're gonna go for acacia stairs again. One, two, three. And then one, two, one, two, one, two. Can you see where that is? It's kinda in the right place. We miss this line of sponge here, and then we've got stairs, and then two bits of acacia right here. And then we're gonna make it look like it comes right through by two blocks sticking out. It's kind of a, a feature, a decorative feature of the house with a slab on top, one in there, just to finish it off like that. Cool, this thing is taking shape. I love this house. Was I giving you a tour? Did I give you a tour yet? Did I say what the rooms are for? We've got like a kitchen area in here, and then a living room in here, and then upstairs, I haven't put any glass in yet, but we're gonna have maybe a bathroom here, and then hack away through to the bedroom. Actually, we could get that done just now. Look, another window right here. Make it up as far as that, and then another doorway right here. So you can see the doorways and all the windows actually line up really nicely, and again, you need to do something pretty clever. It is, uh, let me see, let me grab that. Fill that into the ceiling looks continuous and you can see throughout the whole building, you've got that view, that sort of feeling of light and coordination and symmetry. 
as well. Right, we're gonna pay attention to the backside, which means oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna grab acacia wood blocks and that line of four is just gonna continue all the way right to here, like that. So let's get that filled in right now. And then we're gonna concentrate on some stairs. Got a few stairs to put in all over the place. Oh, something else to do is this bit here and just hack this out as well. Like that, all the way to the top. And you're gonna, again, come back by three blocks. I'm gonna go for the slimes. I just love that noise. Oh my word, that is so cool. And then, boom, like that, excellent, right. And then, Hack down, put in some light. If you want the snow to come down further, you can. And the slime and a bit of glass on top like that. And again, if you wanted, you could put in a little plant in there. I thought, I feel there may be water. I think there may be water in the way of that. Yeah, but this place is gonna be soaking wet. There's gonna be water all the way around here. Kind of a water feature. But we need to put in the glass first. Right, I did say we were gonna do some stairs, right? So nether brick stairs in the UTB texture pack it means you've got a little entrance. And I love this entrance, I think it's so cool. You could even put a little hook on the wall, maybe about there to represent where the coats and stuff, stuff go. Right, more counting. One, two, three, and then place a stair block right there. And we're gonna put our stairs actually right into the wall like this. So this all needs to come out. That all needs to come out. Um, that comes out. And that goes there. So we need to join this up. So what I want to do is do that, I think. Is that right? No. That. That kind of works, right? Let's go back around and see. There we go. So that is the stairs. What do you think of the stairs? I quite like it. It comes from the kitchen area up to what? Oops what could probably be kind of a luxurious bathroom area. You do need to make some headroom, that is for sure, just like that. That kind of works. And if you want, you could be really super fancy and maybe put some shelves in there. Maybe I should do that very, very quickly. Is it dark on this server? Let me see, slash POP, that should give me some plenty of light. No, the light is correct, Andy, the light is correct. Yeah, you could do stairs there, a shelf there, um, I'm not gonna do any furnishing, but if I just quickly do that. There we go. Shelves as you come up the stairs. I think that would be cool. You could put some little ornaments on there like that. Okay, is it ready for the glazing yet? Not quite. Yeah, just before we add the windows, gonna add a little smidgen more detail, some trap doors. Isn't it great 1.9 onwards? You can just place the trap doors really nilly easily. I mean, I know these ones are easy anyway, but you know what I mean. Watch my trapdoor tutorial, 50 ideas about trapdoors. I invite you, I invite you, I tell you. Um, right, now it is uh, window time, so uh, let's get these spammed in. Loads of windows like that. These ones are easy to place. These ones need to do a little bit of concentrating. I'll see if I can do all the windows without making a single mistake. So I'm using black stained glass for the windows. Um, this window's gonna come in like that. And guess what? I feel like cheating a little bit. Slash slash stack three up the way. That's that window there. Now, we this is a kitchen area down here. Where you put this doorway is up to you. I'm just gonna slap it here. You could move it if you wish. And then if you take away those three blocks like that and then do one, two, three. One, two, three, you make a little doorway and you could do something pretty kind of sh fancy schmancy like that with little door handles if you want. Right, let's carry on with our windows. Gonna put two bits of windowage there, which kind of seals things up. Um, where else do we have window? Yeah, I want a window right here. And this window kind of wraps onto that bit there. Quite like that effect, actually. I don't think I've done something like that before. So I am enjoying how that looks. This window here, a little bit more standard. And again, I just feel like cheating. Stack three up the way. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Guess what? I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat. Stack three up the way, and then windows here. Whoops, 
I made a mistake. Oh, I nearly played all the blocks correctly. Never mind. I can live with that. Stack three up and then round the back of the house. This could be the upper sort of bedroom area. Again, we're going to line up this uh, glass actually right here. Dun, 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 dun. And you could make a little uh, kind of balcony area as well if you wish like that. Step out onto the balcony. So let's just stack this up. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry if you're doing it by hand, but hmm. oh well. Never mind. Uh, have I got this right? Let me get this right. From there to there. And the glass gets put in place. There we are. So maybe I made a little mistake up here. Could take that out and do that. I think that looks a little bit nicer. It's quite a small balcony area, actually. I'm just going to do kind of that sort of thing and come across like that. That kind of doesn't work, actually. Hmm. Hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. We could have the doors come in the way. Does that work? I think it's okay. It's only Minecraft. I can live with that. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. If you're happy, I am happy. Right. This can come across here. No, it doesn't, Andy. That's a mistake. Wow. <laughs> Oh, fun, 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 and the sun, sun, sun. Right, actually, what we're going to do is come along here. That's what we need to do. So that's actually going to get put all the way up here. There is a little spot where it joins on there and there, but actually, to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, the glass is going to get spammed all the way. And I feel like just doing this bit by hand. I don't know why. But I do. So yeah, this is a kind of a mezzanine balcony area where mm, 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 you're kind of looking down. There's a little gap here, a little gap of two. Fill it in, fill it in. Someone said that glass is a pain to place, but I wouldn't go there. That's that's a that's a terrible joke. I'm just not doing that. I've got standards, you know, in my jokes. Some people are shaking their heads, right? You know what's happening. Slash, slash, stack four up the way. Five up the way. I got bored. I'm sorry. I got bored of placing glass. There we go. Ups. That's a mistake. So there we go. Um, glass is kind of in place. That is working nicely. Got a little bit more glass here to do. But this should be easy. And then I think we can maybe get some windows in and then just double check everywhere. Not windows, but um, some water. Oh, a little bit of uh, balcony there that wraps round. I'm going to put three points there. And then I don't know why. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I just suddenly start mixing up my windows at the front. But it just looks good when you step back like that. So hopefully you can copy that. But one, two, three, four blocks. It kind of wraps around onto the sponge. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So this this is brown stained glass. I hope you just picked that up. If I hadn't said it, then you can kind of figure it out once you get the texture pack. Brown stained glass. Right. Are we nearly finished? Oh yeah, we're gonna get some water and place that's kind of a, a watery feature. That sounds like you're flushing the toilet. Who did that sound effect? <laughs> that is cool. Is that Spudinator 5? He makes our texture pack. We've got a 1.1 texture pack coming out very soon. This is the 1.9 version. There we go. Uh, water, water everywhere. Not a drop to drink because it's a, a Mingin pond. Ever heard the word Mingin before? It means kind of clarty. We haven't heard the word clarty. Stop using Scottish words, Andy. Mingin and clarty. Where's my water gone? What happened there? How did that what is going on? <laughs> Where did we get a craft? What? It's soaking up the water. Uh oh, it's soaking. Up. Right, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> it wasn't a crafting table. It was a. It was a sponge. So I'm gonna place an extra bit of wall block there, and that's a problem solved. 
<laughs> I wonder what was going on. It looked like a crafting table. It was actually a soaking wet sponge. And there we go. Right, we're going to move indoors because I've got an idea for a nice door that I do want to show you. I'm not going to furnish much, but I think we could have a door here. And that's going to be the kind of door to the bedroom of the house. But there we go. We've got a bedroom here. We've got another bedroom or a bathroom. Probably a bathroom right here, I'm thinking. Might just make a little bit extra headroom, just like that. Hmm. That leaves that little space where you can see someone's feet. So maybe that's going to have to go there like that. But yeah, that is the house, guys. It's really, really simple. And it's up to you to furnish it. It's up to you, really, to build it. Um, something else you could do is just remove those blocks. Can you move these ones as well? Yeah, you could remove these blocks and just go for a bit of glowstone light there. And you could get a little sink in there. And then in here, you could actually get a little kind of mini toilet as well. So if you wanted, this could be a teeny tiny little toilet in there and a little sink in there. That's just a kind of a suggestion. It's not set in stone. It could just be a little closet or something like that. But this is a living room here. Something else we could do is put in a little TV as well. So what I think I'll do is just do that. No, not that because you can see someone on the toilet. That would be shocking. Right, grab a painting and a couple of bits of glowstone. I'm going to make a little TV just there. I have, a f I have a feeling I just got rid of my shelves from upstairs. There's my TV block. Um, whoops, TV block. There we go. Um, it's got kind of that uh, glowstone around it, so you might want to change that. Anyway, that's the TV. It kind of fits in there. Do your own design. Don't listen to me all the time. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like this nice, super simple type of followable, followable, block by block, modern house tutorial. Let's switch shaders back on. There we go. I like this. It is just so, so easy to do. And I really think this is doable. I think you could build it even if you're just starting off in Minecraft. If you're not starting out in Minecraft, if you're a really good builder, you can take this design and run with it. And if you send me pictures on Twitter of you having built this house in whatever texture pack you've got your hands on, then send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram and I will include your picture in one of my future videos. I absolutely promise and give you a wee shout out if you build this, especially if you do the landscaping and like the interior as well. But that'll do for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you very shortly. May the blocks be with you.